People have many addictions. Sex, food, drugs, nicotine, alcohol, money, power. And blood. Cameron Leach here for Black Tree TV, and I am sitting with the legendary Spike Lee and the very beautiful and talented Zara Abrahams. How are you guys doing today? Good. good thank okay. you. We're going we to get into some good conversation, I already see. But you did a great job with this film. I think I saw you. that you took an interesting approach to get, get into this film. How did you go about with the Kickstarter and just getting the script together? Well, we raised $1.4 million on Kickstarter. Our goal was a million two fifty, <laughs> and we shot in sixteen days. We mm -hmm. shot in Manhattan, here in Brooklyn, and majority of it, the majority of it was shot in the wonderful. I don't know what bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to Mosby? Yes, I've been there. One of my friends owns a property there. But mm -hmm. let's move a little forward. Zara, uh, I saw, I read somewhere that you got an email from Spike just out of the blue. Mm -hmm. Like, how how was that for you? Was that did you believe it was him? Um. No. Uh, um, I shot a film called uh, Black Girl in Paris with one of Spike's students from NYU called Keandra Parks. Mm -hmm. And um, she had, Spike was her mentor. So during that filming process, I would hear his name dropped in. Spike said I shouldn't do it like that. Spike said I shouldn't do it like this. And I was thinking, okay. Um, so when I got the email, I didn't believe it was real at first. And then I took a while to reply. So then he rang me. How long did it take you to reply? <laughs> um, well, after his phone call, I picked up the phone and he was like, did you get my email? <laughs> I was like, uh, hello? This is Spike, this is Spike. I was like, oh, hi, Spike. Um, and then within a couple of days, like four days, we met up in London. It's open the door! Go away! What are you? I'm an addict. So what was it about her that said, hey, I needed her? Well, she was amazing, and, and the fact, she wasn't even a star in the film. Mm. She was a co-star. So I always tell Keanu, you know, you had, you had it mixed up. Mm. So then I went to Keanu to say, can I have the contact, give me a contact for Zara. But it even goes further than that, though. Yeah, I got originally um, a guy I worked with called Will. At the Another BBC. one of my students. Yeah. He, he tweeted me just randomly and wow. said, um, one, of my, um, one of my friends at college, is at, stu at university, is doing a film. Would you mind if I sent you the script? And I was thinking, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure. It took me a while to reply, to be honest. Again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got the script and I thought it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And um, we had some interviews over Skype. So it was a friend, it was, Spike's student's friend who originally started this. A couple of different and, channels. It took. Yeah. So Spike, you took an a interesting... You know what, not to interrupt you, but mm -hmm. that just goes to show you, to everybody listening, you never know where something can take you. Yeah. Because if she did not respond and not have been cast in Keanu's film, yeah. then I'll never seen her in that film to, to have her play the lead and it's sweet blood of Jesus. So and it's you about never going, know. going through that process, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right. So for you, uh, this film, it takes an interesting approach on love and addictions. Um, do you feel like us as human beings can uh, truly be free from our own addictions? Not everybody. Mm. I mean, some stuff is hereditary. Yeah. Alcoholism is hereditary. So you just, by the grace of God, you try to get by, you know, as human beings, we're addicted to sex, we're addicted to alcohol, drugs, money, power, Air Jordan. <laughs> 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 What's the name of those shoes with the red bottom? Louis, um, Louis Vuitton. Louis, uh, Louis, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, yeah. yeah, them too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> them, red, them red bottom. Oh, red geez. bottom <laughs> addictions. <laughs> so for, for you, um, well, I want to swing it to you. For you, was this a big role for you? How, like, were you happy? Like, tell me about it. Like, um, I was 
I was apprehensive mm -hmm. at the beginning because um, it seemed so far away from what I was used to. Yeah. And when I got the script, I did. What were you used to? Just, you know. <laughs> uh oh, let's not, talk about not it. Not you, Spike. Not you. <laughs> BBC. <laughs> not you. <laughs> um, across, the, across the pond somewhere. And Butler. Well, uh, well, the, the 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 script isn't. You know, it's very complex. Mm -hmm. um, so when I originally got the script, I was like, wow, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, but then, the, obviously, the opportunity to be in Spike Spicy, Lee's film, yeah. be directed by him, was just overruled everything. Um, but the process was a difficult process. There's mm. a lot of things in that film that I've never had to deal with before. The addiction. Yeah. And um, we, we did Drinking all of it. Yeah, fake, fake, fake blood. blood. <laughs> but we did all of it for real. The meat scene was real mm. meat. It, it's, um, it's, it's interesting you you note that, because I actually watched the film a couple of times, so I had to pick up on different different aspects of it. What was your favorite scene of this movie? Um, my favorite scene of the movie was the final scene mm -hmm. where Hess dies in my arms. Yeah. Um, it was it was a very peculiar evening. I can't explain. It would have beautiful weather in Martha's Vineyard, mm -hmm. and the evening was so still. And it was a closed set, and we had some of Spike's candles there, which reminded me of when we when I first came here yeah. and did a screen test for him. So the smell in the room. It was very late, wasn't it? It was really late and it was really eerie. We had the cross, which is here in 40 acres. We had the cross in the light and it was perfect. Everything about it was just so perfect. And um, it was just, that was our final scene. Mm -hmm. And it's a one take too. Yeah, we did it in one nice. take. That's and so amazing. the emotion of everything um, was just so honest. Mm -hmm. And we just had Daniel, one camera guy. The sound was already in the room, not even on us. It was we so hung, intimate. Hung, hung the mics. Oh, okay. Mm. It and, was so intense. And on another note, congratulations on your NAACP Image Award. That's uh, your your speech was well received. Thank you. And um, you mentioned, um, you know, not being so attached to the validation of other people. Can right. you expand on that? Well, I just think that as an artist, it it, it, beca it can become dangerous to your art if you go for the prize. The prize mm -hmm. meaning a Grammy, an Oscar, or Tom, whatever it is, to me that's like you're seeking validation mm -hmm. of your work. And it can really, I think, make you go off the, the straight and narrow, you start chasing those things unnecessarily trying, might not ref reflect too well on the work while you're trying to do that. Yeah. And you just have to have confidence in what you're doing, know why you're doing it, and go with that. Because if, 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 I, if I, I mean, I've been making films many, many years, mm -hmm. so have I won an Oscar? No, but I, I mean, that's not why I do it. Yeah, that's you not know. your job. It's not my job, you know, I mean, it's, it's the art. So when it comes to films like Selma, not getting the well, not getting the uh, accolades that many people believe they should, do you think uh, us as black entertainers or black actors and actresses and film directors should we look for the, to those? You know, like who do we look, look to? For, look for what? Who do we look to for the validation? I or should think we the just audience not? speak. The audience, mm -hmm. and also yeah. know know that uh, have the confidence to know what you're doing. Is important, yeah. mm -hmm. but the bigger issue, which Cheryl Boone Isaacs is really working hard at, she's an African American woman mm -hmm. who is now in a second term as a president of the Academy of Motion Picture and Sciences, has to get diverse. Yeah. There, the diversity amongst the voting members of the Academy is is not good, and also the voting members are very old too. Mm. So when, when we reach the diversity, yeah. then you see less and less instances of like what happened with Selma. It's, it's interesting you say that. Where do you think, what should be the cutoff age? You know, you're saying. People, then you got to have a guy have a credit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just can't be a Joe Blow walk off and the street. And that takes time too, granted, you know. Yeah, it's going to take time. But I, I, I have utmost confidence in, in Cheryl Moon Isaacs, who's mm -hmm. the president, 
that she's going to she's working very hard at, at trying to bring more diversity to the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Nice. So Zara, I want to swing this to you. Uh, can you tell our viewers why, like give us the final sales pitch of why you, why anyone should go see this film this weekend coming up? Um, well, it's Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. so uh, this definitely... Valentine's Day weekend. Weekend. Yeah. Um, this film definitely celebrates love, um, and you should go and see this film because it ticks so many different boxes. It ticks um, violence, <laughs> uh, it ticks passion, mm -hmm. there's comedy in there, there's history in there. Sex. There's sex in there. Nudity. There's, amazing. There's nudity in there. The costumes are fantastic. Laughs. Yeah, I said comedy. And also, <laughs> it's directed by Spike Lee, and um, he always brings something different to cinema, and so you don't want to miss out on that. You need to be part of that. Well, thank you to both of you guys. Um, thank you. I wish the movie much success, and thank to you. you guys as well. Thank you, very thank you much. for this opportunity to sit down with you guys. My man. It's a pleasure. Howard, brother. Yes, you know. <laughs> thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you.